Hello, it's Sean and Patrick for the Mini Army Show, and today we're on the road, buddy, aren't we? And where yeah. are we? At me. Military Museum and Park. Yeah, so there's a big military museum here, and me and Patrick are going to have a look around it, and we're going to see all the cool stuff that they have in here and report back if it's worth coming to. Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah. There's a big gun back there, and there's a couple of crazy people missioning around it. So we'll go over and have a look at that when those nut, nut jobs are gone, eh? Okay. All right. Patrick. There's incoming, there's incoming fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Take those en enemy bombers out of it. <laughs> Cup of a trench, this is what you see when you first come in. And there's like a dugout there where the officers would be hiding. It's the Mauser, right? Remember I was telling you how they put all the extra bits on it and they made, uh, they made uh, Han Solo's gun. We've seen this before, but see on the, uh, the gun here, it's got a grenade launcher on it. Daddy, two people are in grenade peace. Grenade. Daddy! Yes! Gr two grenade. people are in peace. Is it, where? The apple. Where are they? Here, the apple. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, yeah. There's 220,000 Irish ones. Ah, you got me! Red coat uniforms there. Oh my god, it's amazing to have these. Look. <laughs> Irish volunteer uniform. Brilliant. What do we love on Mini Army Show? And right behind you, American half track. Very cool. The bad guys have taken over someone's house. Look, there's a World War Two era cot. There's an MG42. And they're shooting out the window at the good guys. Look at these over here, look. Behind Patrick is the Russian 8.5 anti-aircraft gun. That's the one we did the model of. Remember the episode we did the model of? And over here, they have a pack. And a German half-track. We love German half-tracks. Oh my God. The first mini army show, we did the armor fast German half tracks. Um, that's the real person. I wonder, did he get two in the box when he got this? What? <laughs> I said, I wonder, did he get two in the box when he got this? <laughs> two 7.92 millimeter machine guns. Mm -hmm. And there's a Hitler here, but he looks exactly like the actor Edward Norton. I've never noticed Edward Norton. Edward Norton looks exactly like Hitler. I've, I've never noticed that before. Action of German helmets. <laughs> Hang on there, buddy. These are post-war French foreign... Hang on, will you? These are post-war French foreign legion outfits and, and gear. There's a gun there. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this gun, but it looks like a little... It looks like a grease gun, an M3 grease gun, but it's... I think it's a French copy, kind of. The M1 Tommy gun here, right? That's looks, looks, looks a weird version of it. Another Tommy gun here and a, a barrel there. And then they came out with the grease gun. The Tommy gun, I think, costs... I think I heard 200 or 250 quid to produce in World War II. And they replaced it with the grease gun. And the grease gun cost, I think, $20 to produce. It was all stamped metal. Awesome design. Okay, buddy, look. So... The officers would have a pistol, but then they gave them 9mm and they gave them uh, a little machine gun first, right? But then they upgraded their units uh, in 44 with these STG 44s, right? Which is basically a, a machine gun and a rifle all in one, right? The Russians were coming from this point of view. They had the same kind of gun here. And they, they went from a machine gun up to an AK-47. Ends up looking like, like that. They both evolved to kind of look like the AK-47. Oh good, right, loads of different countries around the world started ma making it. So you got the Chinese version there, the Bulgarian version there. You got another Chinese version. Another Chinese one there, a 1971 there. Look at this one, it's like a sniper rifle version of it. Look. And you know what, there's Yugoslavian one there. Look, Yugoslavia yeah. as a country doesn't even exist anymore. That looks like a mech It's another animal. Bulgarian one. And you know yeah. the best AK-47, do you know where they're made now? Yeah. America. The Americans are making brilliant AK-47s now. Instructions. Fire like this. 
Do you think you could even fire that if you read yeah. those instructions, wouldn't you? Like most museums, there's a spot here. You get to pick them up and play with them. How cool is that? <laughs> Hi there, there's, we're here with William from the Irish Military War Museum and your collection is awesome. It's absolutely brilliant. Like It's, it's amazing. Um, how did you start getting all this stuff? It's a hobby that went mad. Uh, I started collecting at the age of eight. Uh, I found a coin belonging to my granddad who was a marksman in the Royal Irish Fusiliers and uh, that got me into it. Now John Wayne used to be on television every Saturday, that didn't help I don't know, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. So uh, I'd go and I'd pick a, a ton of potatoes for a local farmer, I'd get paid 20 punt and I'd go uh, with the family up to Dublin once every six months and I'd buy a gas mask or a jacket or a helmet or and it's just bits and pieces like that and, and it's 45 years of picking up. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant and thanks for your time because there's people coming in and out here all the time and so we're very thankful for you to make the time to come out and uh, say hi and uh, so that's it that's uh, all from the mini army show for this time and from William and Sean and Patrick from the mini army show thanks a million for coming and thanks a million for thinking of us cool thanks bye now see ya <laughs> Yeah, so that's our video from the Irish Military War Museum. And uh, that was really good, wasn't it, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um, what's it? William in the museum is really, uh, he's a really nice chap. And he's really, he's really informative and uh, chatty. And he's a really good host. So, if you're around Meath, head to the museum and check out all the cool stuff there. And that's all from the Mini Army Show this week. If you like it, tell a friend. If you don't, tell an enemy. Bye. <laughs> Why did you turn it off? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what, what do you want? Why do you keep turning it off? Do you want a Hoover? I <laughs> Here you go. Right, so you want a Hoover, I'll put it on for you then.